Hello learners, my name is Kirti Verma and I am going to introduce one topic about the branding decisions which is followed in export marketing syllabus that is in TYB Corp. Uh, this is the syllabus of module number 1 regarding product planning and pricing decision for export marketing regarding what is planning, what is branding, then what is ROH, then what is the need of labeling, then what is the factor determining export pricing, then international commercial in quote terms that is then export pricing quotation then first uh, then first free on board that is FOB pricing CIF pricing CNF pricing and problems on FOB quotation that is and international trade management so what is product planning decision whenever company start to develop one product so he undertake the company undertake various parameters to introduce the product the various parameters related to introduction of the product is known as product planning decision. So the product manager and the marketing manager need to take product decision in several areas. For example, product design. What is the design of the product? What, what actually the need of the product and how it has been designed and how it has been transmitted. So that is product design. Then we have product mix. There are, several, there are seven P's in the marketing strategy where compromises about the product mix. That is product, price, place, promotion, packaging and all. Next is product packaging. How, what is the basic requirement of the packaging? What, what will be the core packaging of the product? Then what will be the, uh, what will be the basic packaging? And, what, uh, and how the packaging should be designed? That is product packaging. Then we have product labeling. What all information should be inscripted in the product packaging? That is product labeling. For example, what all, what all are the ingredients in the packet? Then what is the quantity of the product? Say if we want to give some directions about the usage of the product. So that also comes under the product labeling. And one, the important factor is that manufacturing. From where the product is basically originated. That is from made in India. Asa, for example, that is product labeling then we have product pricing what is product pricing in order to state in a market for some certain price is fixed according to the demand and supply forces so what will be the pricing of the product that is product pricing here penetration and a scheming marketing strategy is used to identify the product pricing that is product pricing of the product then what then we have product positioning when up uh, when and where should the product should be placed whether it should signifies its ascent that whether this product is for suitable or the, whether this product is luxurious and which is suitable to a rich and upper class of the society so that is product positioning how to place a product in the market that is the basic ideology between the product positioning then we have product promotion what type of promotional strategies should be used to identify or to promote the product that is product promotions then we have product warranty what all warranty we have to keep to a product that is one year warranty or two year warranty basic upon the uh, ideology or the features of the product then we have branding decision this is one of the important concept which will be which will be studied in the next like in the next uh, slide that is what is branding branding decision then we have after sale service what all services is required to a product after the sale that is after sale services then we have product distribution decision how the product should be distributed nowadays we have e-logistic also where where the manufacturer focuses only and only on production and the right and the rate and the rest selling part or a distribution is part is is handled by logistic management so this is the product distribution decision now to a main part that is branding. What is branding? Branding. It is a process of giving a distinct name or a mark to a product to give it is a distinct identity as compared to competing brands. Means it is just an identification to your product that is branding. So branding designing means it is typically refers to a key brand element such as logo, color scheme, typography, other designs that makes brand stand out from the different competitors product. So that is basically a branding which it is it gives the special attributes to your product that is branding. So now we have 
stages of brand development what will be the stages of brand development how your branding process starts that is first of all identification identity you have to identify your product whether the product uh, builds upon the some certain characteristics or in nature that is identification then meaning what what all things you have to require need for the branding process that is meaning then response who will who will use that product and what response can be reiterated from that product that is response then we have relationship what type of relationship you have to maintain with the different stakeholders that comes under the stages of brand development then we are then we have a pyramid in that we it is it is defined as silence performance imaginary feelings judgment resonance these are the parameters which are used to identify brand then we have branding objective at each stage first of all deep brand deep broad brand awareness what all brand awareness is required in case of branding then points of parity and differences what all differences what all similar points are there in case of branding then we have positive and accessible relationship what all relationship has been formulated by the process of the branding that comes under positive and accessible relationship then we have intense active and loyalty what all the feelings are associated with the branding that comes under the last process that is intense active and loyalty type of feeling in the case of branding then we have steps to build a brand strategy majorly we have six steps to build a brand strategy one is business strategy what is the strategy of business uh, what is the vision and mission statement according to the business and how they have to place the product that comes under the business strategy then we have customer profiling who is going to use the product what are the customers perception while using the product that comes under customer profiling then we have a brand image what type of image is there what type of branding is there then we have brand identity what type of identification is is retreated from the customers while using the product that comes under brand identity then we have website what type of website or or from through which type of e marketing strategy we can brand the product then we have content what type of content is available in your product that is content in case of branding strategy then we have branding different approaches in selecting brand name so first is individual brand name your company adopt individual brand name for different products for example hindustan unilever limited has launched various categories of soap for example lux dove life boy this all soap are categorized or launched by hindustan unilever limited but this specifies the individual characteristics of the brand so that's why it comes under the individual brand name next we have blanket corporate name here company uses corporate brand name for its variety of product categories for example tata tea tata coffee tata still tata electricity tata motors here brand name is associated with the product that's why it is known as blanket corporate name then we have corporate come individual brand names here corporate and individual brand name is popularized to product for example certain companies combine the corporate name an individual brand name to create a very good distinct image for example cadbury dermal silk cadbury dermal oreo so that means your company and the characteristics of the product is particularly simultaneously uh, simultaneously uh, popularized to product then we have family brand name here company adopts the same brand name for different brands for example amul milk amul lassi amul butter so here the product line of the family is specialized to particular that product that is amul then we have name of founders here company also introduce the product with the name of founders for inventors example william colgate william colgate has introduced colgate soap and perfumes company but nowadays it is famous in dental care so william colgate has satisfied nearly about 100 million customers in the global worldwide so through through the characteristics of the inventor's name the product is famous for example colgate food nestle nestle then we have different approaches like combination of names and numbers 
here combination of names and number is used to famous the product for example seven up then names with the relevance to the product here some firms make deliberately attempt to diversify brand names with relate to product category for example nike sportswear brand then we have adidas puma then we have name communicating attributes some firms name the brands that communicate the special features special characteristics of the product that is attributes example asian paints that already specify that paints a paints is used and the company is used so asian paints then we have a factors influencing branding for example with these are the parameters these are the factors which influence the branding like customer service company name logo strong impression reputation then value proposition price and product and product benefits these are the factors which influence branding of the product this all are my references thank you dear students